friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks Workshop. Got a little odds and ends, tidbits kind of video for you here. This has really very little to do with working on instruments. I wanted to talk to you about a condition that I have in my hands. It's known as uh, Dupuytren's contraction. At least that's how it's pronounced in the television commercial that I see. And I've seen the commercial maybe three or four times. And I think that's what brought this up where I thought I ought to mention this to you guys. Dupuytren's contraction is, is exactly a contraction. It's, it's this tendon and this, it st usually starts in like the ring finger on your right hand, generally speaking for most men. And it's more common in men than women, although women get it. As a matter of fact, I met a woman last night that had it. I couldn't believe it. And uh, anyway, it draws your finger up and eventually will, and it, and it can kind of spread to the other two fingers there, and it will draw your fingers up and get up to the point where you can't open your hand. And uh, it will go in both hands, but it generally seems to start in one hand uh, first, and then it moves to the other hand later on. I personally think it moves into your feet too, although I've never heard anybody talk about that because I have a tendon thing in my feet that's really hard. Well, anyway, the bottom line is I was very lucky. I, was, I went to the doctor and while I was in the doctor one, a doctor's office one day, this was back in the 90s, probably mid 90s. I mentioned to him, I said, hey doc, you know, I've got this weird callus on this palm of this hand. I cannot imagine why I have this callus. Have you got any idea? And he examined my hands and he says, well, I hate to tell you this, but you have Dupuytren's contraction. And he says, you've caught it very early. And he says, but I hate to tell you this, you're going to end up with operations on your hand. He says, your hand's going to close up to the point where you, he said, where you can't grab a beer can. Of course, I don't drink. So, but you know, for me, that'd be a soda can. But uh, he says, you just, it will render your hand basically useless and you have to, you know, have it operated on. And I found out that this is actually pretty darn common, which is the reason I want to share with you what I did. So after he explained this whole thing to me and how bad it was, and, you know, I asked him, I said, well, Doc, you know, I mean, right now it's not that bad. What if I stretch it every day? I said, if I stretch it every day, surely it won't get any worse. And he said, you know what? He says, you've caught it early on. He says, I've never had anybody try that. But if I was you, I would try that. So surely I did. And, and I'm not kidding you. I stretched it all the time, every day, religiously. I will tell you, I fell off the wagon for a while, probably for several months. And then I started noticing these BBs. I mean, like literally just like BBs under my skin in that on that tendon. And I mean, you could feel them. I mean, you, my wife could grab them. It was kind of creepy feeling because it just felt hard and just like a BB under your skin. Well, I, I went back to my stretching regimen. And by the way, while I'm driving on the steering wheel, the steering wheel, this hand being the steering wheel, I stretch it on the steering wheel like this all the time while I'm driving. I do it a lot. So, you know, and I stretch both hands. And I've been doing that since the 90s. And you can still feel, and you can probably even see that kind of yellow callus looking thing right in there. And it stays there all the time, but it doesn't get any worse. So I'm just sharing that with you. If you are in the early stages of Dupuytren's contraction, or even if you have had it for a few years, and maybe your hand's already starting to draw, you know, like I told you, I had those giant BBs and my hand was starting to draw pretty bad there. And uh, I started stretching again religiously. And I haven't ever quit since then because I could see how serious it was. It's worked for me. So I hope it works for you. I, you know, you, you gotta, it's just like eating an elephant. You gotta take it a bite at a time and, and do it small, you know. So start out by just just pushing a little bit and just keeping tension on there. Don't try to over stretch it because you'll tear it and that's even worse. But just stretch it slowly every day and just keep stretching it and hold it just like hold it like maybe that's all the further you can get right now. Maybe just getting it straight is, is an accomplishment. Well, you know, uh, hold it there and keep tension on it and you'll feel it pulling. Trust me, you'll feel it pulling. You know, at sometimes I stretch mine and stretch it and stretch it and you can actually feel it almost like burning in here. 
And uh, right now it's not, I don't feel it too bad right now, but there are times when it actually just burns. I can feel that a little bit. But I hope that works for you. Good luck to you. You know, I know a lot of people are suffering with that. There's, it's a very common thing, especially in men. So good luck to you.